Have you considered anything about the U.S. Senate seat that's now just open? So uh, Trump's decisive victory on Tuesday opens up a lot of possibilities to change the country. We're obviously having discussions that they're not going to be sorted out in the press. They're going to be sorted out with the conversations of the people with people who you know, need to have them. So there's a lot of ways to shape, shape the country. I'm looking forward to playing a big role, and we have some big ideas for what's ahead. How you, but how do you think you you make this? Thing. I mean, you yeah. have a, an amazing not just a fork in a row, but maybe three things. We throw the governor yeah. so, possibility in there. So I, That's I in a, your head. I got a good piece of advice when I was I think I was about 21 years old when I got this advice, which is that it takes about as much effort to do something small and to do it well as it does to do something big and to do it well. And so I want to do I want to have the biggest possible impact on this country, and I want to have the biggest possible impact on this country using my own skills, right? Not everybody has the same skills. I'm an executive by background. That's sort of served me well as an entrepreneur and those are skills that I'd like to put to use and I want to reflect on the biggest and best possible way that we can use that skill set as an outsider to hopefully transform this country and I obviously care immensely about this state. The future of Ohio is important to me as well and so as I said on stage, Ohio's story is the country's story and, and an embodiment of how we save the country, and so I'm looking forward to that. I'm sorry. Have you ruled out a Senate appointment if the governor was interested? I, I, for the purpose of this conversation, I'll just say we, we are having um, a lot of conversations with President Trump, the transition and at every level about what's next, and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you once we've made decisions. But we're not going to sort that on the press. Yeah, well, can I, I read I, that you moved your, your business to Texas. Can you explain yeah. that and what, why that happened? Sure. So, so, so to be clear, I stepped down from Strive before I ran for U.S. president, but I founded the company, and it's near and dear to my heart, and I'm so proud of their mission. And one of the things that, that you know, Matt Cole, the CEO, would tell you is that the expansion that they were charting into wealth management, which is a new vertical they were entering, really was best done in one of the most business friendly, if not the most business friendly state in the country in terms of attracting the top talent needed to do that in a zero tax state like Texas, where a lot of the top minds in that industry were attracted to work. And so they made the best business decision against the backdrop of you know, a really competitive environment that states like Texas have created for business growth and formation. For my part, I was really proud to found the company here in Ohio. Ohio, as I said, the future of Ohio is near and dear to my heart. The company got off the ground uh, you know, faster than many startups in, in that industry. It reached $1.7 plus billion dollars in assets under management in just a couple of years, and so I'm incredibly proud of them. But the business had to look at for its own evolution to get to the next level from 1.7 billion to expand to new verticals, make the right business decision of what state provided the best business environment for them to do that. And they made the decision of Texas being the place where they could best expand into those new verticals. Was there a problem in Ohio? Well, I, I, I'm not, you can, you, can talk to, you can talk to Matt and the team that made the decision. But what I will tell you is that I'm incredibly passionate about making sure that Ohio is the most competitive state in the country to start and grow a new business. And you know what, even the experience of starting and growing a new business here and understanding and attracting talent here, but also understanding what some of the obstacles to attracting talent here are, I now have a better understanding of that than ever. And I am passionate about making sure that this state in the Midwest, with 60% of the population of North America and 50% of the economic production of North America within a day's driving distance of where we are, there's no reason why the state of Ohio cannot be the leading state in the country to start and grow a new business, to bring a young family and raise them. Those are deeply personal issues to me. And so if your question is, am I passionate about making sure this state is the most attractive one for raising a family, starting a business, or growing a business? You're darn right I am. But and, so, and, I, and, I, and I care about it. Why isn't it? Like Ohio has lagged behind yeah. the nation in terms of...